Tower cranes are towering giants on construction sites, often reaching heights that seem gravity-defying. Yet, they stand tall and stable, almost never toppling over. Ever wondered why these massive machines don't fall? To understand this, let's firstly understand how they are built. A tower crane is always built in three distinct phases. A concrete foundation is prepared so that the crane will be safely anchored to the ground and stable during lifting. A mobile crane assembles the tower crane, lifting several segments of tower into place like the jib, the counterweights, and the operation cap. The tower crane then builds the rest of its own structure as it rises to its ultimate height. But how does it not dip off? There are four reasons why they remain stable. Number 1. Strong Tower Structure The foundation of a tower crane's stability lies in its tower or mass structure. These towers are typically built with strong steel sections, bolted together to create a rigid framework. The steel used also has tensile strength, which means it is flexible. This helps in balancing different loads against each other while also ensuring that the crane can withstand both vertical and horizontal forces. Number 2. Counterweights Counterweights also play a crucial role in maintaining balance. These massive blocks of concrete are strategically placed on the crane's rear side to counteract the load being lifted by the crane's hook. The mass of the counterweight is fixed, but the loads vary in size, so when a load is lifted, a torque is applied on it, this has to be countered with the counterweight, as well as the distance from the center. So by carefully calculating the weight and their distance from the crane's center, engineers ensure equilibrium and the crane doesn't tip over. Number 3. Safety Systems and Mechanisms You might have seen cranes spinning in the wind. It is a safety measure called weather vetting. This means that during high winds, no brakes are applied on the crane which allows it to rotate 360 degrees instead of fighting the wind. Tower cranes also incorporate anemometers to measure wind speed. If the wind speed exceeds safe levels, which is around 40 kmph, the crane's operation is halted automatically to prevent potential instability. And lastly, we have, number 4, skilled operators. But tower cranes aren't self-sufficient machines. They require skilled operators who understand the crane's capabilities and limitations. They must carefully manage the crane's movements, load distribution, balancing the levers, and safety systems to ensure stability during operation. The collaboration of engineers and operators along with advanced safety features ensures that these construction giants not only reach remarkable heights but also do so safely. So, the next time you see a tower crane on a construction site, you can appreciate the engineering marvel that keeps it upright and stable. Thanks for watching the video till the end.